Welcome everyone to Cooking with Glenn, episode 19. Now, it's summertime, and who doesn't love a good burger in the summer? I know I do, and traditionally we go with beef burgers, turkey burgers, chicken burgers, bison burgers. But today we're doing something special because we're going to be looking at Mahi Mahi Burgers. Now, for all disclosure, you guys can see these are frozen, these are from Trader Joe's, but I'm looking forward to them nonetheless because I'm used to making frozen burgers for myself. Now, anyone who doesn't know what Mahi Mahi is, it's a type of tropical ray fish. And some people consider it a dolphin fish. I used to always get Mahi Mahi confused with Ahi, which is a type of tuna, but I also don't really know my fish that well. I've had Mahi Mahi as a burger before once, and it was two years ago when I was in Tampa at this really cool restaurant. So when I saw these, I figured something different. We might as well bring it to the channel. And to include with it here today, another thing from Trader Joe's, we're going to be making some roasted Parmesan seasoned Brussels sprouts. So these are going to take a little bit longer to cook. So I brought out the handy dandy air fryer, which you guys were such a fan of in the salmon video. And it does say that you can really only cook these stove top or conventional oven, but you guys probably know if you have an air fryer. If it says conventional oven, we can make this in the air fryer. So it says to preheat it to 400 and put it in here for about 18 minutes. Now because air fryers um, have less space than a traditional oven, you just kind of have to use that really as like a guideline. So we're going to throw a bunch of different Brussels sprouts in here. Not different Brussels sprouts, a nice little assortment of Brussels sprouts in here. And when we look at the ingredients on here, it's actually kind of cool. It's grilled Brussels sprouts, Parmesan cheese, extra virgin olive oil, salt, rice flour, black pepper, and garlic puree. So these should actually taste really good when done. So I'm going to do, it's at 400. So we can do 400, but we'll keep it down to maybe 15 minutes. Now I'm going to also, dress up my bun here with you guys first before we start grilling the burger. So let's uh, let's do that. All right. So for the bun, the first thing I want to do is cut open this avocado because instead of using mayo, I feel like this would really go good as a topper um, for mahi mahi. Now avocados are a love hate relationship with me because I love the taste of avocado, but you really have to get an avocado when it's ripe, or else it's not really going to cut well, and I didn't really cut that well either. But that's fine, because what I really wanted to do was just scoop it and use it as kind of a nice little topper for this. And then I'll probably eat the rest of this avocado while we're waiting for certain things to finish. I think that's going to be enough. We can throw out this side. As you can see, I still got this whole avocado here that I really messed up. Um, but here's what we can try. We're going to want to scoop the pit as always, even though this pit doesn't really want to come out as much. And it's kind of taking the whole avocado in here with it, so a little bit technical difficulties in here. But this avocado was definitely super ripe, so I, you know, originally was only going to put it on the top, but because I don't want this to go to waste, we'll throw this on the bottom as well. It's a little messy, but it's fine. Now... As I go to wash my hands a little bit, I like to throw a lot of my ingredients on the bottom section of the bun because when you throw the burger on there, it just really sits nice and well. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to throw some nice um, romaine lettuce on here. Don't need a lot, just a couple pieces. I like to pre-cut my romaine once I buy it. Um, just so it's easier and I'll keep it in like a nice little container like this. So then I'm going to throw some banana peppers. I love banana peppers for the sheer fact that they add a nice little tang to everything. Don't worry, I did wash my hands before doing all this. So I don't really worry that much about cross-contamination when I'm cooking my own food just for that matter. We're going to do a nice little tomato. And then finally, of course... We're gonna do some red onion. So now that I got the burger all kind of plated out, like pre-portioned, of course, let's get to cooking this burger. So with the burger itself, as you can see, I got some nice um, avocado oil actually ready to sizzle. And these are actually sort of tiny, but that's fine. Because 
You don't really want to overdo it, I feel like, with a fish burger. So we're just going to open this, throw it on there, cook it up. It should cook up relatively nice and quick because of the size. And we'll see how this goes. The oil, as you can see, is already hot. We're going to lower that a little bit. Just throw the burger on there. I'm going to cook this up for you guys, uh, and then I'll come back, you know, as it's getting ready to be finished, and we'll go with that. But before we do that, let's go into some of the uh, ingredients. We do have mahi-mahi, water, canola oil, rice flour, spices, paprika, parsley, sea salt, natural smoke flavor, potato extract, natural grill flavor, mustard flour, rosemary flavor, and this does, in one patty, have 15 grams of protein. So it is relatively healthy. It does seem like it's already nicely seasoned. So yeah, I'll be back to you guys when this is done. All right, guys, the burger is just about done. So we are gonna put that down. I've decided for this, I'm gonna throw a little bit of pepper jack cheese on there and let that melt a little bit. Uh, the Brussels sprouts, as you can see, are done. I think they might've been in there a little too long if we're being completely real real, but um, they were already kind of pre-grilled. Anyways, I don't know if they were originally like that at this moment, or, you know, I made them worse. There we go, little difficulties opening that cheese. I didn't know cheese got so difficult. So we're going to do that. And I didn't really want to throw anything else on here, but I got to really put ketchup on everything. So that's what we're going to do, just a little bit. This is spicy ketchup, so it's going to add a little bit of a tang, a little bit of a twist. Let's let this cheese melt a little bit. Let's build this burger and then let's go into the taste testing. All right, now it's time for the taste testing. Now, I know some of you guys might be a little upset that I brought out a plastic fork for the Brussels sprouts instead of treating them like the premium vegetable they are and bringing out a metal one. But let's be real. I don't think anyone's actually here to see how the Brussels sprouts taste. I am because there was a lot of ingredients and seasoning there, but we're all here for the Mahi Mahi burger, right? But to do them justice, even though I might have burnt them a little bit, let's see what these taste like. Because lo and behold, I didn't like Brussels sprouts until about March of this year, first time I really had them and enjoyed them, it was my birthday actually, over salmon, because salmon can work with a lot of things. Ooh, these are actually Pretty darn good. Okay, so I mean, maybe we are here for the Brussels sprouts after all. The Parmesan crust to them and all the other like spices they put in here, they really taste amazing. This might be a sleeper hit that I come back to at some point. But let's, let's talk about this burger, because this is the main event here, right? So before we do the taste test, let's go over what's on here, right? We have avocado, we have banana peppers, red onion, tomato, romaine lettuce, pepper jack cheese, spicy ketchup, and of course, your mahi-mahi patty. I had to pause there for a second because I didn't remember if I put anything else on here because as you guys can tell, I kind of build my burgers. Ah, there goes a red onion. I know I said I don't really put stuff on top, but we'll put it up there just to fit it there. The taste test is really where this matters. I really hope this doesn't fall apart as I'm eating it. Probably will with my luck, but let's stop that from happening. So, there's a lot of flavor going on there. Delicious nonetheless though. Mahi Mahi is interesting in taste because it's not really fishy. I've heard it compared to halibut before, but this It kind of reminds me of the flavor of swordfish. 
And I only had swordfish for the first time a couple weeks ago when I was in Florida, but it has that texture and it has, or it has that flavor. But it also has a very meaty texture to it. The, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a salmon burger or more or less like a chicken burger. Um, now granted, texture could vary depending, you know, where you're getting your mahi-mahi from, how the patties are um, put together. But overall, like if you're someone who doesn't like that fishy taste, I know I hate that salt water taste. That's why um, a lot of the fish I go for never really have that. I think the fishiest fish I really eat, if that's like not a cop out, is flounder. Because like when I eat like salmon, when I eat cod, they don't really have that saltwater taste. Granted, they do have two different textures to them. And this has like a meatiness to it. It kind of has like a flakiness too, but it's very dense. And the consistency is really good. It's a very light flavor. It's a very easy on the palate flavor. I think even if you don't like fish, you probably could tolerate this. And if you love fish, maybe it's not fishy enough for you. But for me, this is delicious. So guys, thank you for tuning in to episode 19 of Cooking with Glenn. Successfully made some Mahi Mahi burgers and su surprisingly successfully made some Nice seasoned Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. Don't put them in as long as I did. But nonetheless, this was a delicious, nice, quick dinner. Leave your thoughts down in the comments section below what you thought of it. Until next time, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, eat healthy. But also, eat delicious. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.